It's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and I already have Valentine's on the brain. So I decided to come up with a little variation of the hot chocolate bomb. This is a London Fog Tea Bomb. Now, what is a London Fog? It's basically milk mixed with Earl Grey tea, but it's steamed milk, so it's absolutely glorious. So when you're adding your milk to this hot chocolate bomb, try and make sure that it's steamed if you can. But if it's just regular warm milk, that'll do too. One of the issues I had with my hot chocolate bomb was that it was a little bit sweet, so I did have to add espresso powder, but this has a really great balance of sweetness because the tea has no sweetness whatsoever, and really the only sweetness is coming from the milk, which is quite light, and this white chocolate here. If you wanna get this marbled effect, you do have to make sure that you use food coloring that is compatible with fats. So anything that says it is fat dispersible will be really, really good with this white chocolate. If you try to use just regular old food colorings, then it's going to seize up. I'm not sponsored by David's Tea at all, but this is some of my favorite tea. I just love their selection of flavors. Now we used to have one in the mall, but it appears that it has disappeared. So I was super happy that I was able to find these in the grocery store. I also like that the string is super strong, which is what you're going to need for this bomb. If you wanna add on a little kind of note for your Valentine, then you can take some of this wafer paper to create notes. This is great too if you wanna get the kids involved because it literally is just like coloring with regular felts and paper, except that it's edible. And don't worry too much about the taste. All that's gonna happen is this is going to dissolve into the steamed milk. You'll notice that I left a little flap and that is because we're going to use that part to stick into the hot chocolate bomb so we can see the full heart. Write whatever message that you would like, maybe something like you're my cup of tea, but I really like the punniness of you are the bomb. I will link all of the things that I'm using today down in the description box below. This sphere mold is a little bit flimsy, so I do utilize that little cupcake tray to make sure that everything stays nice and spherical and doesn't bend. I'm utilizing the bottom of a hot pan to make sure that I can put this all together. I didn't use extra chocolate this time. I just used the heat of the pan to put things together. And now you'll notice that I'm using the pan to kind of smooth out those edges so it's perfectly spherical. Now you can either have a cup of steamed milk all ready to go and then drop the bomb in, or you could have the bomb in the cup already and pour the steamed milk over top. Of course, you wouldn't want the bomb sticking out like this. I was just doing that for creative purposes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!